one step at a time. Are you a Mortal Kombat player who's always wanted to get into Street Fighter but never did or never could? This is the video for you. And I'm in the same boat. I mean, I've always played Mortal Kombat Injustice, basically anything Netherrealm or Midway ever made. And let's take Street Fighter V for the biggest example. I just, I, I know I'm not alone in this boat. I just can never really get into it. Call it a skill issue or whatever, but honestly, it's just a bit different. You know what? Let's back it up. Even if you're a Smash Bros player, this video is also for you. This is my very first Street Fighter, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm having an absolute last with it. it has been so much fun and this whole video revolves around a couple things first being the control input method that we have as we all know street fighter has their classic which they've used literally forever well of course it's still in street fighter 6 but in order to bring a new audience in even from other fighting game players and of course new fighting game players they have modern control inputs anyone in the comments who's like modern ugh, modern skill issue shut up blame the game not the player modern control is basically a simple the entire control mechanic of Street Fighter 6. They break it down and give you three attacks and one special. And that's what I mean, because in Smash Brothers, you have one special button, you have one attack button, you just got different, you know, you got forward, back, and down. It's kind of the same here. Your special is, you know, neutral special, back special, forward special, literally the same as Smash Bros. And you know what? The same applies to Mortal Kombat, because in Mortal Kombat, as us players, as Mortal Kombat players, we're used to four attacks. Light, heavy punch, light, heavy kick, and so on. We're used to target combos like, you know, square, triangle, X. Well, modern kind of gives you that. So here we have light, light, light for Luke and plenty of Mortal Kombat players and characters have that. They have square, square, square. We have other combos like forward, heavy, heavy, but this is exactly what I mean. It really breaks it down and kind of puts you in the Mortal Kombat, you know, player mindset of like, okay, I have three attacks, which I'm used to, obviously. And then a special button, which kind of like Smash Brothers, I have back, neutral, forward, down kind of a good mixture between mortal kombat and smash not only that but as a mortal kombat player we're used to just a single special what i mean by that is when i have a special like scorpion spear for an example well for luke here we have a projectile that's a special and because we have three different attacks for punch and kicks in street fighter we got three different forms for each special so for example for luke's projectile we can make it go light medium or heavy heavy being almost full screen here kind of like this See, that's full screen. We do a light version of it. It's not full screen. We're not really used to that. We're used to just having a special for what it is. And modern gives you that. So modern gives you this projectile with that range. But that's kind of just what the special. That, that that's kind of just what you get. That's just a special. That's just like here's the special that you have. You you gotta make it work for your character. In classic, because you have three different controls. You have three different dragon punches like this light, and you have a medium. Of course, you have heavy, which goes higher and harder. But again, in modern you just have one uppercut and that's your special like as a mortal kombat player it wouldn't really make sense to us if we had three different you know we throw our spears get over here if we had one that was like light medium heavy it's like we just have a spear to throw and modern kind of scratches that itch of like you know you don't gotta worry about three levels of a special for all your specials you just gotta worry about having your specials and then they put those specials in a smash bros format and assign them to one button forward back down a neutral as i just showed you still can do those inputs in modern if you really want to to change your specials there and then my attacks are gonna just light we have medium and then we have heavy here and as a mortal kombat player you could probably just take any character figure out what your attacks do and just take that at face value like okay i might be missing out on a couple different attacks compared to playing classic but i'm gonna take this character as is and just make that character work like we'll take what we're given and we'll just make it work because let's be honest here it's about the person behind the controller not the character that wins or makes or breaks a game like let's just be honest here a really good modern player could probably beat a pretty good classic player as long as they play it right you know you know with reading your opponent and punishing them appropriately you see this is what i mean street fighter really gave us Mortal Kombat players a pretty good reason to come to Street Fighter and you know really get a hang of it kind of out of the gate like oh, okay I got combos here that I can just like you know bop 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 and then bop I can just do these things I can do from the ground I can go down and then forward I have combos to do but kind of the mental capacity of trying to deal with all these different forms of specials all these different inputs regarding those specials and so on it's like it kind of lessens that mental capacity and just makes it easier for you to go hey you know what you've got your specials but we're only going to give you one version of it which is fine with us because that's kind of what we're used to we got normal combos we're used to as well we can jump in overhead low we know how to mix up we know how to grab we know how to block and punish our opponent you see what i'm saying you see what i'm getting at here and let me be up front 
front. For those that don't know, modern, you actually lose out on 20% of damage with your specials and your supers, because our supers here, they're just one button. Well, they're kind of your special and heavy together. This is a super. We lose out on 20% damage on that comparatively to doing that same one in classic controls. So you kind of got a pro and con there. Is it worth not doing, you know, down forward, down forward punch? and just doing two buttons together? It's all about the trade-off for consistency versus damage. Do I wanna maybe risk dropping it by maybe misinputting my inputs? Or do I just never drop it and I, you know, kind of risk, I kind of just take the downside of having 20% less damage. Now, let me say, I am somebody myself who likes to play modern, but also I think there's something to be said that modern is a great way to introduce you to the game, the characters, the fundamentals, the footsies that are gonna be played in the game, the parries, the drive impacts, all these things that are fundamentals in the game. Modern is a great way to introduce new players and new players to Street Fighter to all of that. And then honestly, once you understand the game your character well enough whether it take you a week a month six months or even a year you can move to classic later on and say okay i know luke well enough i know that like my down medium kick because I, I see that's a kick that's definitely not a punch i know that my down medium kick goes into my uppercut so as a combo i could just do that i know that works I know the jump in also works from all of that. So when I go play classic, I already know basically from what I've been playing, what goes together. So when I go play classic, I know, okay, here's my medium kick, my down medium kick, and I know that my uppercut, you know, my my, my uh, six, two, three input, that could be inputted after down medium kicks. If you're fast enough, that works. So not only is modern a great introduction to the game itself, but honestly, it's a great way to transition yourself slowly over time at your own pace into classic controls if you want to later because let's just be honest you don't have to you don't you like somebody could play modern and just never learn classic they could just get really good at modern and go okay this is how you play modern i'm just gonna learn all my characters on modern and just i'll take the 20 damage risk and, and whatever but i'm never gonna learn classic and that's okay i think that needs to be said that is okay if you transition to classic later awesome good for you you now have more control of your character you have a little bit more special moves and normal moves that you can actually have access to you do a bit more damage as well with that you never do do honestly i don't blame you you can just get really good at playing modern and say okay this is how it's played this is how i play luke now i'm just gonna take the kit that i'm given and make it as optimal as i can with my skills but one step you get more special moves and moves if you play classic allowing you to be better and punish your player i see your point you're not inherently wrong but at the end of the day again it's all about the person behind the controller okay i don't have access to my long range projectile with luke playing modern but i'm gonna master my medium range one and know that this is too far i just know that playing luke on modern so i'm not really gonna really care if that they're, if they're that far away i'm just gonna rush in then i'll worry about my medium range projectile because that's what i was given all my modern controls again somebody can get really good at modern and just dominate the field even against classic players as long as they read their opponent and punish them correctly that's just the honest truth and if you're a classic control player i'm sorry to tell you but you might get beat by modern players and again that's okay because that's gonna teach you how to play modern Modern players it'll make you a better classic player because you're gonna go okay they have access to one button one input button supers i gotta be on the lookout for that so if i see they have like you know their super bar down there i'm expecting a super to come out at any moment so it's gonna make you a better defensive player and then when they throw it out there you're just gonna punish them with your own because let's think about it this way mortal kombat players if we're playing mortal kombat and someone came to soon hey did you know you've been playing Mortal Kombat for years? You're really good at Scorpion. Well, guess what? NetherRealm just introduced a new thing for Mortal Kombat called Classic Controls, where it's giving you three different versions of your spear and your teleport and your fire breath. You're like, whoa, what? I, I'm so good at Scorpion. I can go do extra stuff with him now. You might be more inclined to go try that out. But if you were brand new to Mortal Kombat, that might be a bit intimidating. And same goes for Street Fighter. It can be a bit intimidating to worry about, whoa, I got one super, but three versions of it and i got four supers i got four specials I got, I got five specials what it could just be a lot at first so coming from mortal kombat myself i have found modern controls great they have been fun as an introduction to the character and the game and the mechanics and i am slowly making my way to classic controls to gather that more control over my character and their entire kit and who doesn't want to do more damage i don't know man there's a lot of haters out there that say oh modern controls Ugh, i would never play modern controls well that's because you've been playing street fighter since day one you're used to the 
the six attack method for Street Fighter that they've had for literally ever. We're a lot of us, we're not, bro. And you gotta understand, that's that's kind of a lot at first. Like even Smash going to another fighting game, Smash has one attack button, one specials. They have their tilt, sure, but like, you know, it's forward attack, back attack, down attack, down special. You tell them, hey, you have four attacks now. That might seem like a lot too. It's all about levels of like intricacy, you know what I'm saying? So to all you modern players, honestly, ignore the haters out there, ignore the classic players that are just salty about it because they're losing to modern players out there. Honestly, that's a skill issue. <laughs> it just takes practice. Like if I modern, I lose to modern. That's a skill issue. If I modern, I lose to classic. I just got to get better. I got to learn to read my opponent. I got to learn to block better. Learn how to punish my opponent at the best optimal time. That's just the honest truth, man. I don't know, guys. Let me know down below. What do you think of modern controls in Street Fighter 6? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Are you a classic player that's salty? Are you a new player that's playing modern? Let me know down below. No matter where you're at in your fighting game journey, make sure to take it one step at a time and I will see you in the next one.